Right, I'm just going to read you a headline. And in, in this is how low the bar has been set for Prince Harry now that we celebrate his retreat from the attack. We celebrate that in the headline we see in front of us. But as we delve deeper, we understand the reality yet again to maximum controversy that is going to be inflicted on his family and dad. Duke of Sussex will finally release vitriolic memoir Spare in paperback, but he won't update it with new bombshells on his father's reign so far. And, you know, you look at that and you think a memoir is about oneself, their journey, their story. But in the headlines, it speaks to the reality of what the Spare was. And that was a book to bash his family, a goss mag, a, just a source of hate. Because surely you would update it in your life post all of this with Megan, your children, this book, this memoir about your life. So why? Why are there concerns? Why is this even being chucked out there? But he won't update it with new bombshells on his father's reign so far. Because let's be honest with you, that's what this book was. If it was a book solely about Megan and Harry's life, there wouldn't have been so much headlines because it wouldn't have even been a bestseller because yet again he's clinging on to the royal family that name that title spare which caused him so much pain however he doesn't mind to take the gains prince harry is finally set to bring out the paper book edition of his vitriolic memoir spare however the royal family is likely to breathe a sigh of relief how sad is that after it was announced by his publisher that the book would not be updated from its hardback form, a somewhat unusual move for an international bestseller. Unfortunately, however, here we go. Here's the reality. Its October release will clash with King Charles's high-profile appearance at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Samoa, the first time he has attended since ascending the throne and becoming head of the global organisation. The meeting will be held from October the 21st to the 25th with Harry's paperback being published in the US on October the 22nd and then the UK two days later. Buckingham Palace announced back in July that the monarch planned to attend despite his ongoing cancer treatments as part of an autumn tour in October that would also take in Australia. And, and it's just, it, 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 we, we, it, we this is where we're at, you know, these headlines that celebrate him, but the reality is when you pick it apart, and I'm not stupid, and I'm not a business person, but I understand when you sign a contract to sell your family out, you will be contractually obliged to continue with that pursuit, regardless if you've changed your mind. So this book would have had to have come out at some time, but I just think, you know, the real olive branch is in the months where your family's been away, when they've been getting themselves better and battling cancer whilst also battling the onslaught of attack from you and your fans in this would have been the real olive branch you know uh, but of course we have this crucial day to your dad stepping out in his first role as king in this country uh, uh, and this is the moment and of course i can imagine the publicist going wild this is the date we need to hit but this is where i'm thinking as a son as a brother a real olive branch would have been like no no i don't want to create that controversy that week but this is how it works you know it churns over and this is why we were all shocked when lemon order at the moment where megan was striking arrow in the netflix Lemonade was like, no, we're going to step away. We'll come back next year. No, that was the time to strike, a bit like the publicists are doing here. They're clinging on to this moment and the hype of King Charles. Lemonade should have been clinging on to that too, which speaks to us with a, you know, a relief from Lemonade of, yeah, we step back from that to save our business from being markled like everyone else. And you know what? I have that 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 verse to that song. Sorry seems to be the hardest thing for Harry and Meghan. You know, true accountability. We 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 know that Netflix the docu series got kicked out of Archie Well, even if Archie Well exists anymore, because they move the goalposts constantly. They're constantly trying to 
save their career uh, and and there's actions and behaviors to say they've got shame over that but is it shame over their actions or shame of the reaction to their actions you know like i just feel like it's dressed up like an olive branch and we should all celebrate this prince for not going more so on the attack when entwined in that is is ultimate damage as the week his dad steps out. So there's a reality with everything they do. And at this point, I do believe real accountability from Harry and Meghan will, will, will salvage somewhat a small iota of, of the career colliding moments that we're watching as they still continue you as they dress it up as the media dress it up but the reality speaks so much more you know he had all those months where he could have released that book but of course ultimate hype ultimate damage ultimate controversy over his dad after first stepping out in his role in another country and here we go again harry releasing his book to align with that and that's and that's the real olive branch that harry is given an olive branch to save his career to hype up his book without a care for dads in how that's gonna look but these are all my opinions my thoughts expressed to you with yet again another headline a true movie kind of review from just a people and a person who just can't believe the hype the celebratory effects of an olive branch which is not so clear cut you know